The AutoCAM formula module allows you to maintain and add in your own formula to the existing fields. So for example, in invoice, I would want column 3 to calculate the numbers in column 1 and column 2 and produce the output. To enable this feature, you must access AutoCAM Accounting Management Studio. So to begin, go to Start and under All Programs, click on AutoCAM Accounting 2.0 and here you would be able to see AutoCAM Management Studio. Here, log into the same database that you want to do formula modifications to. For example, this would be the database that I want to add formula. Then, key in your username and password. You would have now logged in into AutoCount Accounting Management Studio. So to add or maintain formula, go to Tools and click on Formula. Then here, select the category that you want to add your formula to. So mine would be Invoice Detail. This would be the one that I want to perform maintenance to. Then click on Edit Formula. Now here, first, select the field that you want to maintain or add formula. For example, mine would be Column 3. Second, choose the formula trigger point which would be Column Initiate or Column Change. Column Initiate is triggered when you open the transaction, or else Column Change is triggered when any column had changes. So I would choose Column Change. And third, choose between Functions, Operators, and Variables. Functions contains functions that would work around the data. Operators contains mainly math operators for calculation and comparison. Variables contain all the field available for selected entity, in this case, Invoice. Next. Form the formula by choosing from the available functions, operators, or variables. For example, mine would be UDF column 1. So to select the UDF column 1, just click on it. Then it will appear. Then I will go back to operators, click on the plus sign. Then I will click on the second UDF column, which is column 2. So the formula for the column 3 would be column 1 plus column 2. Lastly, click on check formula to check the formula before saving. If this prompt message appears which says the formula is valid, that means the formula that you have created is correct and will produce an output. So then click OK and click OK to save the changes. So once done, close all the tab here. Now go back to the AutoCount Accounting 2.0. The result and effect is all depends on what formula that you have found. So we will check whether the formula that we have keyed in is now correct or not. Click on the invoice and here we will add an item. Then we will key in a number. So the column 3 automatically calculates and produces an output. Thank you.